Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. In this video, we're looking at using third-party plugins to do sidechain pumping effects. It's really easy to do sidechain pump effect using Recomp built into Reaper. Uh, we're going to start there and look at that. Then we're going to look at how you would do that with other plugins that don't come with Reaper. So we're going to start off with listening to the two different signals we have here. First is the synth, the one that we want to add a pumping effect to. Then we have this bass drum, it's from a Casio SK-1. The sound there doesn't really matter because we're just using that to trigger compression. It's not going to be heard. Often you're using the original kick drum in your mix. I've done a bunch of different videos on sidechain compression. So I'm just gonna do this part really quickly. So we don't want to hear the bass drum track. We want to alt-click on the routing button, and that will disable it. Now we need to add an effect to this track. We need a compressor. I'm going to start off with Recomp. So I already have it selected in the effects browser. I'm just going to drag that onto the track. Now I'm going to drag from the routing button onto Recomp. And you can see that the mouse cursor changes to a, a cable icon. So I drag that on. And I'm just going to double click the fader to bring it up to zero. In the routing window, we see audio one and two. That's the sound of the kick drum going into input three and four of the receiving track. Input three and four is the sidechain input to the compressor. So now we just need to set up this plugin for sidechain compression. It's really simple. We go to detector input, and instead of main input left and right, which was the, uh, the sound of the synth itself, going to auxiliary input, which is the sound of the kick drum. So now the compressor is listening to the kick drum, but it is going to apply compression to the synth. So let's, uh, let's stack these sounds so that it creates the effect we were going for. And we'll need to turn down the threshold a little bit and increase the ratio on this compressor. All right. Just going to start off with no pumping and go into pumping. So that's pretty simple. It's a very standard effect. You hear that all the time. So that's how you do it with Recomp. Very, very straightforward. And we're going to remove this plugin and try it again, keeping the same routing with another plugin. So I'm going to grab the Rocket from Stillwell Audio. The setup is very simple. It's the same routing, so you would just drag from the routing button on the track to the plugin. It will automatically set up the receiving track for four channels of input instead of two. And we just need to click on the sidechain button here in the plugin and then turn down the threshold to create the amount of pumping that we want. And if you're not sure if your plugin will take four inputs, you can click on this button here and you can see if it says aux input left and right, it's probably going to accept an external sidechain input. Not all of them do. I have found a few that don't work correctly. That's why I've had to download a few demos of plugins to uh, do this demonstration. Let's hear that and see how it works. All right, and if we don't use the sidechain input, it sounds like this. It's just compressing the synth using the synth's own signal. It doesn't have that interesting rhythmic effect. All right, so we're gonna pull that one out, and now we're going to FabFilter Pro C. Again, this is just a demo. Uh, I saw someone on Facebook was having a problem with this plugin. So I figured it's a, it's a great opportunity to test this out and solve his problem for him. We can see that it's four in and two out, so it, that means it has an external sidechain input. We click on the sidechain button. We see input, which is the internal sidechain, which is just a filter for the synth sound that's coming into it. And if we click on external, then we're getting that kick drum sound.
And you would just need to adjust the ratio, threshold, attack release, and things like that to get the pumping effect that you'd like. The last example is Isotopes Trash 2. This plugin does a lot more than compression. It's primarily a distortion unit, uh, but Dynamics is part of it. There's a single band and multi band compressor, and it does work with sidechain, and you can even trigger sidechain compression on only one frequency band, which is kind of interesting and not something you see in a lot of other compressors. Sidechain input for the gate or the compressor. So you just click on this button here or this button here. You can also click on this button here in the graph and you can enable a filter which will filter out frequencies from that sidechain input. You can also solo the input or solo the sidechain. So if we click on solo the sidechain and play this, we can hear that kick sound. If we go back to here, we click on sidechain, increase the ratio, decrease the attack, uh, adjust the threshold, we should be able to get some interesting pumping effects. It's just that simple. You just make sure that your plugin accepts an external sidechain input. Not all of them do, so just be aware. It should say four in, two out. So that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you've learned something. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. If this has been helpful. Please consider being a patron on patreon.com slash the reaper blog and check out reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.